Hello everybody and welcome back to Manor Lords where we are currently waiting on the winter to end. Now over here in Ikena we need two additional level 2 burgage plots in order to bring this up. We also want to upgrade this to a deep mine. That is definitely a thing that we want to do. This burgage could actually be upgraded. As could this one. Okay, perfect. So that'll get us up to large village as soon as that gets done. That is excellent. Over here in Zawau, we are needing three level three burgage plots. So what do we need for this? Requirements not met, food and clothing stall. I mean, this is the tailor's shop, so that's kind of their fault. But you know, whatever. <laughs> it is fine. So we're definitely interested in getting up to like fertilization up here in Zawau. That'll be probably the next thing we're going to go for. I am interested in checking into some of these Burgage Plot level 2s and seeing if some of them qualify for level up. They might. So let's take a quick peek here. This is the, the, the tailor's shop here. Yeah, a lot of these aren't. Okay. So moving on to Waldbrint. Now the question is, how many settlement levels are there for Waldbrint? Is it possible to get all of the upgrades? I don't know. We'll find out. That'll be a very interesting thing. We do have Burgage Plots under construction, and I think that we have all of them under construction, if I remember correctly. So we'll leave this be for now. We have five unemployed families here. Hmm. Okay. We should probably do something about that. One thing I'm wondering about... What? Why did we just jump up over here? Okay, whatever. We have a second hunting camp here. We have this forester's hut. I'm going to put a second family into the forester's hut and into this forester's hut. And we only have two in the woodcutter's lodge right now. Okay, I'll put a third family into this woodcutter's lodge. We definitely want to get the trees over here replanted. So that will be a thing. I'm interested in getting potentially another woodcutter's lodge. But for now, we'll see what a third family in the woodcutter's lodge does for our fuel. So that'll be fine for the moment. Now, checking in over in Nooslow over here. Food is a bit of a concern, but we are baking. And I think the baking will get us... Well, it'll definitely get us through the winter. It's January right now. We have two months in stock. So that's okay. And we're getting this trading post constructed right now. So we can definitely cruise forward and get that trading post completed. There we go. And we could have four families in here. Okay. Stable space is at 8 of 10. I'm going to order a horse right now. And we're going to put in one, two, three families into this trading post. We are going to want to have additional families there for sure. Because, I mean, our storehouses are kind of overflowing with roof tiles. And we need to do some work there for sure. So that's looking okay. We have that coming in. We want to have some livestock assignment here. So I'm going to assign both of those. Those are both horses. Interesting. I'm wondering where the horses came from. Well, we'll get one more horse ordered for now. Maybe we had spare horses. How many horses do we have? We have seven horses. Apparently, we did have spare horses. Okay. So, we're not going to need to order a new horse. That's fine. So, that's okay for the moment. That is absolutely 100% fine. Are we going to get any more family growth over here? The answer is no. And we're lacking, looks like, three level three burgage plots. So we're going to be short on food supply and clothing stall supply for now. So we have this tailor's shop going. They are making cloaks. That is absolutely fine for the moment. Okay. We're down to one month of food over there. It's a bit concerning to be sure. We do have someone in the windmill here and in the communal oven. Okay. So I can now should be good for the moment. And for now, I think what we're most interested in it. Why, why are we looking up here now? I did not tell it to do that. Okay. As I was saying, what we're interested in doing right now is getting these level 2 burgages upgraded. This is a level 1 burgage. It really doesn't need to be upgraded for the moment. 
we're looking to upgrade level two Burgages to level three. So that means that we need more food types and we need more clothing stall, stall supply. So that seems fine for the moment. Now up here in New Slow, I think it's very clear that we need at least one more family. That's going to stretch our food supply. I'm aware of that. But I'm going to do this anyway. I'm going to put in a burgage right about here. Just a small one. That's actually two. Sure. Two will be fine. So we'll get those going, and that will be absolutely A-OK. -okay. So we're short on food. We're not so short on fuel right now. Now, we do have this woodcutter's lodge down here. It's The fuel situation should be being worked on. I'm not too concerned about that. It's the food situation in New Slow that I think is a little bit on the concerning side. We don't have access to bakeries, and we're a very long ways away to having access to bakeries. Foreign suppliers is interesting. No doubt about it. That's probably what we're going to need to do up over here. And keep in mind, in the spring, we are planning on starting a new town down over here. So that's definitely a thing. For the moment, I do want to get this retinue built up. And I want to maximize this retinue, to be honest. Uh, retinue? There we go. Cool. I want to maximize this retinue. So we're going to max that out at 24. Perfect. So that's fine. Now we don't have a retinue down over here. And I would definitely like to get a manor built here. Where would we want to build it? Down over this way? Well, we're lacking in planks. We do have someone working in the saw pit. So that should get fixed relatively soon here. We need 20 planks in total. Okay. I think we would have had that except for the deep mine. Yeah, the deep mine took 10. So that's understood. Now we're up to 23 planks. So let's build the manor. Why is that locked? Okay, now it's not. Cool. So we would build that somewhere like, I think, here. And then we would look to put in an outer tower. Not an outer tower. We would look to put in a garrison tower. Just right there. So we do need a fair amount here. Understood. We'll get back to that. By the time the actual manor gets built here, that should be fine. And we can start working on having some amount of tax flow coming from Iconau, which would be good. So that'll be fine, and that'll get us a retinue to invest in over here. We just got a development point. What do we want to put it into? That's an interesting question. Beekeeping? I think beekeeping would be an interesting thing to do here. Let's try that and see what that ends up doing. So our apiary is a backyard? Or are they something that we build in here? Gathering, perhaps? Yeah. Okay, so we can sustain up to two apiaries by default. So we could put one up over here, and then we could put another one. Well, we don't have enough planks. We could put another one around somewhere eventually. I'm wondering how many families each apiary can employ. That's an interesting question. So let's get that going. I'm assuming we're not going to have any production from it in the winter. But that's definitely going to be an interesting thing. We'll see how exactly that all works. We're going to have enough influence in the spring to claim one of these regions. So that's very, very good. We'll definitely look to do that. And we, of course, cannot recruit any additional militia. So we're as good as we get there. And there are no mercenary companies available this month either, which isn't necessarily shocking. So that is fine. I don't feel like we need mercenary forces. I feel like we're doing pretty well here. So that's all looking good. So we just finished a communal oven over in New Slow. We already had one. We built a second one, I guess. And yeah, that was out over here. So we do have additional families coming in over here eventually. We're working on construction on these two burgages. So this would be one for the communal oven and then one for the trading post. So we're actually going to want some additional burgage construction out over here. 
we want two additional for that communal oven. So it would be, in theory, wait, this is market? Hang on. I want burgages. Burgages. There we go. So something kind of like this. Sure. Do it. Okay. So that'll be fine. We'll get those built. But our food situation here is definitely on the grim side. Now, we already put in the policy here for strict fasting. So there's that. My question is, are we still grinding flour? We are. Okay. That's noted. So we're definitely short on food here. We do have some food being produced through this communal oven. We just, we're going to put another family in here as soon as a family moves in. And then we'll put another family into this, tr actually this trade post. There we go. As soon as we can. But for now, this is looking reasonably fine. Our main issue here, of course, is lack of food. So that is okay. What do we have in our forager hut? Only one family here. We can actually boost up this forager hut come spring quite a lot more, and it can harvest from this berry deposit. So that should be fine-ish. Fine-ish. Work area is empty over... Yeah, the logging camp. The logging camp is, I think, supposed to be working over here. Where is it working right now? I'm not sure, but we're going to set its work area to be like this. Okay, there we go. That should be fine for now. That should no longer be empty. And the forager hut is empty. That makes sense. It's January. So that is fine. We've got one month of food here, but we are baking additional bread. So that should sustain us for a while. So let's continue forward here. I am concerned about Nooslow's food, but it is definitely getting slightly better. Waldbrind has a lot of food. So that's good. We're happy about Waldbrind's food situation. It has dramatically increased. And we've also got lots of sheep out here. So that's good. Checking in down over this way, how are these constructions going? Well, the deep mine is not yet... Actually, it is built. Cool. That's good. The manor is under construction. It'll get done eventually. No storage space left for production in the bakery in Waldbrand. So I think it's pretty clear that as, at a certain point, the game is designed that you have bakeries. So what happens if you don't? <laughs> That's an interesting question. The passive source of food is another way to go on that. But yes, we are definitely low on food here. Now, it's still January, and we're going to cruise on through, and hopefully January will end quite soon. It should. We should be moving into February very, very soon here. Royal tax has increased. We're fine on the royal tax front, so that's okay. And we just finished our apiary down here. Beautiful. So the apiary is here. It can employ up to four families. Noted. I'm going to put two into the apiary for now. And we'll continue to work on our manor down here. That looks good. It is, of course, now February. So the concern now, of course, is, well, we've got two families here. I want another family working in this communal oven. Absolutely. Family requests more market area for their stall. Oh, our market is full here. Okay, that is fine. We can expand our market for sure. So we would be able to put in some more market space, potentially, like, over here. That's only three stall locations. I feel like we should maybe consider putting it in, like, over here. I'm not planning on expanding our manor, so this would be relatively fine. If we can actually find a valid location. There we go. Cool. That'll work for now. So we'll get some additional market space over here. So there, there will be these two markets, one on each corner of our kind of central square there in Newslow. So that'll be fine. Work area is empty for the forager hut. Yes, that is fully expected. No surprises whatsoever there. Out here in Zawau, we are lacking a bit on our... On our... 
what, what am I looking for? Fuel. We're lacking a bit on our fuel. Now, we're going to be planting this area, so it's mostly due to travel time, I think. So I'm not too concerned about that. What I'm most concerned about right now remains new slow. We are lacking food here on a significant level. We're working on it, but it is definitely a significant problem. So we've got one month of food left at this point. We should have families moving in relatively quickly. We're on 74% approval, so that should be relatively fine for now. Storage is full on the woodcutter's lodge here. That's absolutely fine. And we're, of course, making additional regional wealth. This is a very wealthy region, but it's a very food-poor region right now. Okay. We have three families in the windmill. Honestly, I'm not sure we need that many. I'm going to move this down to two and move another family into bacon. So that'll be okay for now. And hopefully, we'll start to offset this. A new family started moving in. We're going to put this into the communal oven. Okay. Beautiful. So we're still constructing a burgage up here. We just paid our yearly tax. It is currently February. It's going to be becoming spring incredibly, incredibly soon here. So that sounds good. Our windmill, I'm going to put another family into as soon as this burgage finishes its construction. Actually, it is done. Okay. So, I'm going to put another family into the windmill now. It is currently February, and we're going to be exiting winter very, very shortly here. So, we're going to be heading out over here and plowing these two fields. Over here, I believe we got all of these fields. No, this one didn't get done. Every other field, I believe, got done here. So we should have a pretty good harvest this year. Did this field get done? Yes, it did. Okay, beautiful. And then up over this way, I believe all of these fields got done. Yeah. So sh we should have a pretty decent harvest this year. We're pretty much just lacking two fields, actually three fields overall. And those should get plowed up quite quickly. The uh, the oxen are going to get right at it. Retinue assembled. Ah, yes. Down over here. Okay. So we're going to open the castle planner here and we'll commit to this. There we go. We'll get that constructing. We have two available families here. I'm going to put one up in the apiary. We can see we're already getting honey here. So that's pretty good. And we'll want to probably expand our burgages up here fairly soon. Let's take this over to about here or so. Three additional burgages will be fine for Iconel. Cool. So over here in Zawo, we are definitely going to be needing more burgages being upgraded to level three. Requirements are currently not met for a lot of these, and that is absolutely understood. Our brewery isn't ready. Yeah, a lot of these level two are not ready currently. We're lacking food and clothing stall supply. So that is all quite understood. It's not surprising at all. Okay, let's hop over to Waldbrind and see how things are going here. We have six unassigned families in Waldbrind. That is far too many. And we have all but one of our level three burgages here. I'm currently wondering... Okay, we're lacking tavern supply at this time. That's the only thing that we are currently lacking for getting Waldbrind online. Like, for getting Waldbrind upgraded again. So that is good. I want to check into New Slow here. We can see we're up to two months of food right now. And we do need to get level three burgages. We are definitely short on some of these food requirements. Apparently, I can't open this tailor's shop. That's exciting. But we're definitely short on food requirements. Okay. And we're going to hop down to Iconau for now. Because we've got our retinue here, right? And this retinue needs to be brought up in terms of size. So it can go up to 24. Interesting. We haven't actually built the guard tower yet. Fascinating. Well, we're going to hire this up to 12 for now. So that's halfway there. We've got 12 to go, and this guard tower will eventually get built. So that is okay. We should be plowing out over here. 
wait, no, it's still February. Okay, so we will be plowing very soon. Yes, I know we don't have enough treasury for the annual royal tax. It is now March, and yep, now we are out plowing. We did not send the ox to do it. Interesting. Okay, so that's done, and we're now sowing it. That's done now, too. So we're now purely growing out over here in Zawau. Over here in Waldbrind, I want to check in... Oh, saving, probably. Yep, there we go. We are certainly plowing out over here. We are not plowing them with oxen, which is intriguing to me. This field is being completely ignored as of right now. But this one's being sown. And it's now done being sown. So we are, at this point, just growing. So that is perfect. And now they're going to come and do this field. Ah, there is an ox working on it in a really awkward way. That is an incredibly inefficient path to be taking. Okay. It is spending like 90% of its time not plowing. <laughs> Very awkward path indeed. Well, I guess that's fine. We have seven families up here that are not assigned to anything at this moment. So that's kind of insane. I'm going to put another family into the malt house. I'm going to put another family into the dyer's workshop, I think. We can put in a family into the trading post. That seems fine. The stable is not really, strictly speaking, necessary. What do we have in the forester's hut? Or rather, the forager's hut. That's maxed out. Okay. So we've got four additional families. We need to find work for three of them. We could definitely put two of them into the tavern. We're going to need a lot of barley, of course. We are importing barley still, right? I think we are. Yeah, we're still importing barley. So that's relatively fine in theory. We've got the weaver's workshop up here weaving away. And nothing really to be done there. What else would we be interested in putting these people into? Well, we could consider making, like, another brewery. We could consider that. So we would need a level 2 burgage with a backyard that does not already have anything assigned. So that would end up being, like, this guy. It's a chicken coop right now, but we can turn that into a brewery. And that should do the trick. Okay. So back up over to Nooslo at this point. We've got two families here, and I'd like to assign another one of these to the forager hunt. So we know that we've got additional work that can be done, right? No doubt about that. We've got one trading post family, and we've got two forager hut families. So that is three families that we can get done. And we're currently maxed out here, so we need three additional burgages. So we're going to get three burgages going, about like that. And that'll be fine. Cool. So, I want to check back in on Iconau. Iconau is currently low on food, apparently two months of that. And the apiary up here is currently producing honey, so that is helpful. We should probably... Whoa. That looked really weird. The uh, rain particles, like, stopped for a moment. Okay, we should probably have our forager hut have more people in it, and maybe even add an herb garden. So we'll get going for that. And we definitely are going to be able to get more families here, so we'll find jobs for them. That's for sure. Out over this way in Zawau, we have four unassigned families at this moment. We can assign one to the Dyer's Workshop. We could consider getting an additional brewery, but I think for now we're okay on that front. I'm interested in upgrading Burgage Plot level twos, but we're definitely lacking on food variety. So I want to hop up over this direction, check in on the hunting camp at the Forager Hut. Yeah, let's add two families to the Forager Hut for now. Okay, so that looks good for now. Yes, the pantry is full here. That is understood. The real question is, how are things going to go over in Nusla? Well, I think the answer to that is they're going to go reasonably okay. 
So for now, it is about time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're probably going to be starting up our additional town down here. And then beyond that, we're going to be going after one of these two. I'm not sure which yet, but it kind of doesn't matter. So that is definitely the plan going forward. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy McGar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Tommy Kintogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.